Hello, everybody, and welcome to a much better sounding ankle cast. This is ankle cast number six, I believe, if I am keeping track well. Um, I finally did an upgrade on my sound for this thing. I got myself a Zoom H1N1. H1N1 is the virus. No, I just got a, a, a Zoom H1, which is uh, a little handy, handheld kind of recorder thing that you can uh, use. And it's got a line in as well. So I went ahead and got a little lav mic, a lavalier mic, which is those ones for those of you who aren't audio uh, production or video production inclined. Um, the lavalier mics are the ones that they have the little clip and you can like just clip it onto your collar and that keeps the mic right under your mouth and it's hands-free. How about that? I can drive safely. Much safer than it has been in the past. I've been like an accident waiting to happen with this ankle cast and now here I am safety first brand baby products. <clears throat> So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Uh, um, so what has been going on in the last little while? Well, I, I mentioned the last ankle cast about the magic spreadsheet and that I wanted to try and use that to get myself writing. Um, so I looked it over and I figured out how it works and I put my name on there and I started at the start of March... I started in trying to write, doing the magic spreadsheet. And the magic spreadsheet's pretty cool. Um, the first day, I wrote a thousand something words. Uh, the goal that you have to get to is 250, so I quadrupled the goal, which actually gets me three points instead of just one. So the first day I had four points. Um, then the second day, uh, some things went a little haywire. Uh, my son was sick, the baby. He was puking on the floor. Um, on top of that, I got called and I had to go into work at 4 in the morning on Sunday, so I had to get right to bed. And I realized as I... Was it as I was getting in bed? It was either as I was getting in bed on Saturday night or maybe even the next day without even... I, I think I may have not even remembered at all on Saturday that I needed to write for my magic spreadsheet. Anyways, to make a long story short, I blew it both Saturday and Sunday. Um, I forgot about writing, and so I got no points for Saturday and Sunday. But Monday I realized that I blew it, and I got back on that horse, and I said, hey -ya! and I started riding again. So I wrote another 500-something odd, I think it was actually 600 words, which got me two points plus one, so I'm at, I was at seven. Yesterday, I managed to get in uh, the bare minimum. I got a little bit over 250 words and got myself one point, but because I wrote two days in a row, I got three points again. So I think I'm at 10. Uh, Rish, on the other hand, is kicking butt. Uh, he was saying on Facebook, I saw that the magic spreadsheet must truly be magic because it has m made him write every day this month. He has not missed a day. His chain is up to five days, moving on to six probably today. Um, kicking butt. And uh, he says he's almost done with his story baby talk that he's working on. You guys may have heard on Facebook his... Uh, auditions for the voice of the baby <laughs> that he'll be doing. But yeah, that's the story that we're going to do for the show. Um, so yeah, uh, there's that. Um, things have been a little crazy, so sadly, uh, I think I got a couple of That Gets My Goats on since the last time that I was on here for the Ankle Cast, but I was unable to get the episode of the regular show together. I worked on that last night. And I got it all thrown together, and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, the story itself is all ready, and uh, now it's just uh, getting the uh, 
thing thrown together. Rish has done the episode. I just need to combine them and put them out, and hopefully I can finish that tonight, and we'll have a new episode of the actual Dune Steve. The sad, I feel, I feel like such an idiot when I realize that we did not have an episode the entire month of February. Hey, there goes an ambulance. Um, the entire month of February, no episode. Uh, that sucks. Especially considering last February we had a That Gets My Goat for every single day of February. But this February was much more difficult for me than last February. It was super busy. Uh, they really stepped up the amount of stuff we were doing at work, and uh, it, it was just hard to keep up. I was unable to uh, do anything uh otherwise and and on top of that i was sick all february and so was the rest of my family and what a crappy month february turned out to be this year um but march is a new day it's spring man i went outside i was jogging yesterday and i looked down while i was stretching i was standing right outside my porch and i was using like the step down to stretch my calves and i looked down and i saw tulips sprouting up out of our flower bed. I was so stoked. I saw the tulips and I thought, dude, that means it's here. It really is here. Spring has come. Um, Spring is perhaps my favorite time of year, although I don't know if I like it as much where I live now as I did where I used to live in Sacramento. Um, Because in Sacramento, there wasn't the uh, unpredictability of spring that you get here uh in sacramento it might rain a little in spring but that's the worst you ever got and it was always kind of nice and wonderful um here might rain it might snow it might be like the worst day ever or it might be great you never know uh but usually it's great so at least there's the uh, high probability of it being a good day um but yeah i'm so excited for spring This winter has sucked. It has been cold and snowy. Really cold, like five degrees cold for like the whole month of January. It was that way. And it snowed a ton. Whenever it wasn't that cold, it was snowing. And then it would go right back to being that cold again. Just sucked. So I'm really glad to see spring here again. I like to be able to get outside and move around. I got fat over the winter and I'm trying to get rid of that. I think I mentioned that uh, before in an earlier show about how I was doing a weight loss contest. And uh, the first two weeks of that weight loss contest I did awesome. I lost like 10 pounds in the first two weeks. Um, I was freaking kicking butt, and I was sticking right to my diet, and I was doing awesome. And then it just fell apart. I could not, and I would try, and I would stick to my diet like two days of the week, and, you know, not stick to it very well the rest of them. And some days I would just be really bad, and other days, you know, it was just a disaster, and it steadily got worse and worse, and... uh, until on uh, Monday morning when I weighed myself, I was back to exactly where I started. I gained those 10 pounds all the way back. There was a point where I was winning that contest. I was first place. I looked at it and I thought, oh man, I'm, I'm in first place. I need, to, I need to get with it and keep first place. Well, I don't have first place, obviously, anymore. Um, but I did get with it. I decided to use that magic spreadsheet thing, uh, just the concept of it, and use that in a diet way where if I exercise, I get points. If I uh, do my diet, if I'm faithful to it, then I get a point. And uh, I did that. I decided to use that as a contest with my wife so that we're both trying to lose some weight and get in shape. And uh, the good thing about it is, you know, Sometimes men or women, they lose weight uh, slower or faster. Um, And uh, it can be kind of hard for it to be fair. You know, you couldn't sit there and do your diet 100% good and uh, not lose weight. 
Um, and maybe you are losing, you know, inches, but gaining muscle or whatever it may be. Or maybe you're just not losing weight and you have to get over the plateau or something like that. But it can be uh, a pain. But if it's just you have to be faithful to your diet and faithful to your exercise, you know, then you get the points, whether you uh, lost weight or not, you know, that thing that you can't control. It's like uh, Tobias Bakel was saying that with his writing. He didn't want to make the goal that he would get published because that was something he couldn't control. Um, it wasn't up to him. It was up to mysterious forces of nature, namely editors that like the stuff. But in dieting, it's mysterious forces of nature. We, does your body decide to dump that weight or not? Is it going to eat itself alive and eat that fat up or not? So you never, sometimes you never can tell. I mean, after having trying to get myself back in shape for a few years, I've uh, <clears throat> come to understand how frustrating it can be. And I think it's more frustrating for my wife because I uh, tend to do better at losing weight than she does in general. So I figured doing this might make it less frustrating. And I also, since I got this, uh, this Zoom here, I made my tablet the, uh, the prize. I gave my wife my tablet because she really wants one. And she actually uses it way more than I ever did. So um, it's probably worth it to give it to her anyways. But I gave it to her and the deal is... As long as you're ahead of me or tied with me in points, you get to keep it. But if I pull ahead of you, you lose that tablet until you get back ahead of me. So we'll have to see how, how motivating that is. Um, hopefully it works out. I see her using it all the time. She's watching Netflix on that thing endlessly. Uh, especially since we finished our basement downstairs and so we moved our TV downstairs. And so while she's upstairs, cleaning or whatever she's doing upstairs she has nothing that she can watch unless she has that tablet uh, to put Netflix on so I think it's it's gonna work for both of us it's worked for me I know that much the first day today is Tuesday um, I don't know if I'll get the ankle cast out actually today or tomorrow but Tuesday uh, we started Monday and uh, Monday I was really good oh, wait Today's Wednesday, sorry. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, and uh, we started on Monday. On Monday, I was really good with my diet, um, and I weighed myself just to see if it worked out um, Tuesday morning, and I hadn't lost a thing, and I was a wee bit depressed, but I stuck with it. I stayed on my diet really good, and then I weighed myself this morning, and I had lost some weight, so I was down like two or three pounds, so it's already really uh, making a difference, so I'm excited about that. I'm hoping to get back those 10 pounds that I lost and uh, maybe, uh, you know, lose a few more because the people that are in the weight loss contest with me are not um, awesome this time around. I think two point five percent is probably where the leader is um the time that i won it last year there was tons of people in the contest and i lost 13 percent of my body weight in that time around so that just shows you we're we're halfway through the contest and the leader is at 2.5 i think halfway through i was at about seven last time around so i think i can still catch back up and perhaps still win this thing and uh, take home some cash, which I could use <laughs> always. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going for it on that. I'm going for it so right now. I am doing better at like all my goals than I have all year. I've written three of the last five days. I have got back on my diet and I'm losing weight again. And you know, I must have had something else. I don't know what it might be, but I'm doing good in that too. 
Uh, and I mean, even, uh, and and on top of that, we've got lots of Doomsteep episodes that are coming down the pipe for you guys. Uh, we've got another Broken Mirror story that should be ready within a day or two. Then we've got a special treat, a new Media Expo special treat episode. Um, in which we read a story live. Not the story you're thinking of, though. A different one. And then, after that, I've got... We've got another Broken Mirror episode that's already in the can, ready to go. They're, they're, they're going to flow faster than they have all year, and all of last year, too, for that matter. After that, we've got another episode uh, edited by Brian Lincoln that's now in the can. And Larby Gallagher has gotten us a, 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 an incentive episode thrown together that we can uh, put out there, which is the last of the Broken Mirrors. And then, of course, there's uh, one other Broken Mirror story beyond that. We're doing four Broken Mirror stories and one Broken Mirror incentive. And it's all rolling. So it won't be long before you're going to have a bunch of episodes to listen to. I know that we've gotten super slow. Um, hopefully this will help improve things a wee bit. Um, I just saw a cop go past me with his lights on. Makes me fear for what kind of traffic may be <laughs> awaiting me. Uh, what is he jumping up there with his lights on for? Shoot. Let's hope. It's something that's very far ahead, and I'll be able to get off the freeway before it hits. Well, he took his lights off, so maybe it's nothing. I don't know. I love traffic. Does anybody else love traffic? Oh, I love it. I get in it a lot. I, I look for traffic just so that I can drive in it, or not drive in it, as the case may be. Uh, so yeah, we've got some stuff coming. We got a bunch of gets my goats too. They're uh, on their way, so they're like edited even I think and ready to go. Um, so you know, it's gonna be an all Dune Steve month. And now I got my uh, system. I'm gonna try and and see if I can keep uh, if I can up my. Uh, angle cast production level. See if I can get myself going um, once a week on this thing. Maybe Wednesday will be my day. Today is your day. Congratulations! Today is your day. You're off to big places. You're up and away. That's a quote from uh, whatchamacallit <laughs> from uh Shoot, can't think of it. Uh, uh, oh, the places you'll go. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, my favorite Seuss book. My most inspiring Seuss book. I need to listen to that again and be re-inspired. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's what's coming down the pipe. That's how things are going. Writing is improving. Uh, the... Tenth album is nearly complete. That's the name of the story that I have been working on for the last few days. It's nearly complete. Um, the only thing that I can't decide is if I'm improving it or not. I've been adding to it. It's a story I actually wrote in 2010, and I thought, oh, I need to up the whatever the the conflict in it. I don't know if I've actually upped the conflict in it. Uh, maybe slightly, but I don't know if, if it really matters. I don't know if I've made the story better or if I've only made it longer. Um, I was considering asking Rish to read both of them, and he said, F you, so uh, maybe I'll have to ask somebody else to read both of them and then tell me which is better. Um, but anyways, yeah, that is almost done. And when it's done, we will... It will be an episode of the show. Um, that's kind of what I'm planning to do with my stories for the next little while as I try and improve as a writer. Um, just put them onto the show and uh, whatever it is I write. And hopefully I can write enough to the point where I don't, I can't use them all for the show, you know? 
I have too many and I'll have to start sending them out elsewhere. Um, we'll hope that, that, that I actually improve to that point. But anyways, yeah, that is uh, that. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, I'm Big Anklevich. I am a rider. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way.